What is up everyone? I'm Elsie Light Green. And in today's video, I'll be going against an Ann on Arms Battery. Now, he gets an Ann using a 4, you know, it's not going to do much. He's going to become a normal rescuer or a normal kiter. A 4 is not really going to, you know, have a good time harassing the Ann, but there's ways to do it in, in this game. I'll be able to demonstrate how I'm able to, you know, do forward things against an Ann. First finds priests on uh, forest map. Really nice portal. That portal, no, because she went through it. She used a lot to transition. I think she kind of just broke in instead, instead of a, uh, and trap her inside there using her cats. And because she did go through it, this allowed her to get transitioned to the shack and then to these two pals right here to work with. <laughs> you know, pretty much if she plays it well, she's gonna take hits every time and uses the cat. Does you know same thing like blood queen, blood queen. You know same thing. So it does take the cat, drops a pallet, nothing could do there. So you're forced to take the hit. Uh, she has always been ready, so she didn't call for it. So she, you should ask for it to, uh, for the next, for the next cat. That's typically how you cayenne. So you don't want, you don't want to get hit when she didn't use cat. And you want to create as much distance if you're, if you can. She, so it's a harder time for Anne to land her cats, and she's forced to wait for another cat, especially if they don't blink blink. Ah, uh, Anne's not gonna down you as quickly. Sheer to stop Owl, prison needs to call for it. This cat, you know, the distance is pretty close, so the Owl is gonna possibly come out because, you know, distance is closed down. The owl does come out. Decides to wait for the, not hit the Owl, you know, but this, I think, I think Ant should hit it because she's not able to get her uh, across and it's gonna be a really difficult time chasing someone down, especially if they're in the factory. So she's still first presence and she waited that owl out, it didn't do anything, it's, it's by more time. Now 4 comes for the stun. Now there's only really one way to harass an ant. It's basically, you know, every time they go for a cat and the cat does hit someone, you know, they're going to stun the person no matter what, right? So the moment they stun them, you go for a stun yourself to cancel, you know, the stuns cancel out. And this is a lot easier when, you know, the survivor who is cutting, you know, they drop the pallet while they get stunned. You know, Anne is supposed to, stop to break that pallet. And while they are in the middle of the animation of bringing that pallet, you go for a stun. A long stun, a short stun, no matter what. That stun will help, you know, the, the person who got catted to just transition out, as you can see from there. But really, it really depends on your teammates, on the person who's kiting. And, you know, if, they, if you're a good kiter, and that little assistance is going to help them. You know, they know what to do, kiting-wise, and you just got to focus on harassing. If your teammate, you know, has really, really have no idea how to kite, then, you know, no matter what you do, it's not really going to do anything. So it really depends on your team. Playing Survivor is not really just, you know, how well you can do yourself, it's just on your whole team. If your team is good, then your whole team will do it well. If your team is, you know, not that good, relatively new, you know, you're not going to do that well. You guys are going to struggle a lot. Survivor's, uh, survivors uh, gameplay is just your teammates. <laughs> It really depends on your team. Now, and decides to chase someone else because, you know, there's really no point in tunneling increases because of how well she kited it and I'm there to harass. So, decides to maybe down someone by the side, but does not look like it's gonna happen. Everybody in this, everybody in this game is kiting pretty well. And, and it's really difficult to, you know, really get someone down. It's like a blood queen. You need like two cats to really down anyone at all. Does have max presence though, teleport. Does use teleport on the forest cyber. Now anything is possible of Anne. Anne is uh, probably, I think is the best kiter, I mean best camper in this game. You know, as long as you time the cats well, you know, it's gonna be really hard to rescue. Now me trying to dodge cats and doing, I don't know, what what, the, what was that? I don't know what I was doing there. I tried to be some, I was doing some ramp fancy stuff and watching that replay, that was, that was awkward. Right, I'm sorry you guys had to see that. That was really awkward. No, anyways, decides to leave me, you know, get everyone injured so no one can rescue, but because she's doing that, she's wasting so much time in the cypher, you know, already past 50%. Middle cypher is, you know, starting to get worked on. Perfumer is going to sink that cypher, which is almost done. Yeah, it was really difficult for Anne to map control. You're not a dream witch, you're just, you know, a person who's walking around with little cats, you know, every 15 seconds. Not going to do much. But she's not, that cypher is fine, but she's not able to pop that cypher because she did use her skill to cancel anything the survivors can do. So if she is able to get down Perfumer here, she has a chance of camping and potentially, you know, stuffing the save before the cypher is prime. But it looks like she is already there, ready to pop the cypher and that cypher is ready to go deep four people up and teleport is only 25 seconds. So it's going to be really difficult for Anne 
to do anything right now unless the survivors make a mistake but these are top tier survivors so it's really not really common decides to go for seer pursuit does see the ann and ann does not have cats right now so it's gonna wait until next cat to is down to seer and that gate is already being worked on across the map and that gate does seem to be open because the teams are coming out so it looks like a win for survivors team now you know well played for both sides and try her best this priest is just kind of pretty well really well and uh, I think you guys watch. And in this next gameplay, I'll show you guys why Anna's so OP. Anyways, you can enjoy. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> 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 
Oh. 